A for apple, a, a, a. B for bounce, ba, 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 ba. C for cut, ka, ka, ka. D for dig, d, d, d. E for elbow, a, a, a. F for fan. E for gallop, g, g, g. H for hop, C for itch, i, i, i. J for jump, j, 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 j. K for kick, k, k, k. L for love, O for opera, ah, ah, ah. P for push, pa, pa, pa. Are you singing? Q for quiet, qua, qua, qua. Keep singing. R for run, er, 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 er. S for so, T for talk. U for upside, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. V for volley, v, 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 v. W for wiggle, w, w, w. X for x-ray, Y for yawn, yaw, yaw, yaw. C for zigzag, Letter sounds are all you need. Put them together and you can read. This is the checkers. Yay, my friends! Guess what the letter of the week is. Let's see, I'll give you a hint. The letter of the week is the last letter of the alphabet. And... It makes a zzz sound. Let's let's figure this out together, okay? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Friends, we have made it to the end of the alphabet. We started at A, and we went all the way all 26 letters to Z. And that's a big deal because, friends, you remembered what all the letters look like. So when I say, hmm, what does an A look like? In your mind, I bet you you think of this. And if you don't know what the letter itself looks like, you might think of an apple because our brains learn letters in different ways. First, we learn what the letter looks like and then we learn what the letter sounds like. So some of you might just say, hey, that's an A and that's great. And some of you might say that's an A for apple. So that's a lot of work that you've done all year long. That's a big deal. So you can tell all your friends and your family that I learned my alphabet from A to Z. And then you can tell them, oh, my name is Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y. You can tell them your name. Or you can spell mom, M-O-M. -M. You can spell dad, D-A-D. That's what you're learning is letter names and letter sounds. So all of you are learning and you might be in different spots, but you're all practicing your letters. So you deserve a big, hold on a second, watch this. 
Ready? Hooray! We have practiced our alphabet from A to Z. Congratulations, my friends. Yay! That is a big deal. So I want you to tell all your friends and family, I finished the alphabet. That's a big, big deal. And for my three school, we're going to do it again next year because this was just kind of letting you know the letters of the alphabet and then next year we'll work on the letter sounds. So don't worry. Just know what you know and then we can practice what you don't know next year. So woo! Yay for my friends! All right, first I had to congratulate everybody for learning all the letters of the alphabet or getting through the letters of the alphabet. Next is our play plan. I want to look at our play plan. It's on your seesaw that you get. Let's see. On our play plan, it's the theme is, I can do it, we're big now. And it's about doing things that you learned or telling me things that you learned this year. So in one of the lines, you draw pictures or you write things about what you can do. Like, I can sing the alphabet song. I can write my name. I can use my star breathing to help me breathe. It's about all the things that you can do. Breathing, knowing your alphabet. We counted. Threes counted to 10 and my fours counted to 20. That's so wonderful. You don't even realize how much your brain was thinking. So I wanna see pictures or words of things that you can do. So that's one thing. You can post them all over your house. Like an I can wall or an I can door or an I can refrigerator. Post them so you can remember and be proud of yourself that you worked all year. That's a long time. A whole school year, you worked on learning and working on your seesaw and working at home with your families. That's a lot of work. Also on your play plan, I'm looking at it over here, is bigger or smaller scavenger hunt. Oh, this is a fun one. Miss Jenny with the I put this one on. So one of them is says, find something bigger than a crayon Bigger than a crayon. So in my mind, I'm going to picture what a crayon looks like. Let me get one. Bigger than a crayon, but smaller than a banana. So let's see. Bigger than a crayon. And I have to picture in my head how big is a banana. Like probably this big? Yeah. So, oh, that's tricky. Oh, I got it. So it's kind of in the middle of the crayon and the banana. And look what I have. I have a marker. So that is bigger than a crayon and it's smaller than a banana. All right, here's another one. Um, I had it right here, okay. Do, where is it? Oh. Find something bigger than a clipboard. Bigger than this. This is a clipboard. This is our teachers put their work. Bigger than a clipboard, but smaller than a door. Okay, in your mind, how big is a door? Pretty big. It's taller than me. So that's pretty easy. So we're finding something in between. It's bigger than this but smaller than a door. Hmm. And I have something. Get ready. <laughs> this is a plant my daughter gave me, but look. It is bigger than my clipboard. Hello. Bigger than my clipboard, but it's smaller than a door. See, because look, it starts here and goes just here. So it's not even as big as me. See? So that's kind of fun because you have to really think and really use your brain to figure out what fits in between 
which and what's bigger and smaller. So that's one thing on the play plan I want you to try. We also have uh, the letter Z, and there's a letter, there's an animal that is black and white striped. Ah, everybody knows it. Zebra. You can make a zebra. Or what are some other words that start with Z? Zipper. Or a zoo. You can make a zoo for your animals at home. So you can use blocks. You can use Play-Doh. On the play plan, they have, um, looks like boxes with yarn across. So you can make zoos lots of different ways. That's another thing. Look at that. Two fun things. Three fun things, the I can cards. And then um, there is, let's see, two books that I want you to listen to. One is The Little Engine That Could. And it's a really good book that I'm sure some of your moms and dads have heard or grandmas and grandpas. And it's about a little engine that didn't think he could do something. He didn't think he could go up a big hill. I'm not gonna tell you what happens but something happens that he didn't expect. So I want you to listen to the little engine that could and see what he does. And if he can do it, don't know. The other book is by Julie Chan. It says, When I Grow Up. Because this is getting to be the end of the school year and you're getting so big. Some of you are going on to kindergarten, some of you are going to five-day preschool, and some of you are going to preschool. So I want you to celebrate all the things that you did this year and just for fun, listen to the book about when you grow up. Because some of the ideas that this author, Julie Chen, gives us are really fun and really silly. And I love the illustration. So you know Miss Jenny and her pictures. So those are two books that you can listen to. There's so many things. Oh my goodness. Now I'll look at one more thing. Let's see. Oh, and then if you get a squirt bottle, which they have them at the dollar store, you don't have to do it this week, but maybe this summer, you could, there's a recipe how to make paint that goes into a squirt bottle and you can squirt outside or you can squirt on paper. And there's a recipe for your families to read. So, and there's more, but those are just some really good ideas. So look in your play plan, find words that start with the letter Z, and for fun, I want you to be thinking all, all week about all the letters you learned. And when your mom says something, you can say, mm, mm, mom starts with a mm sound. Or if you know the letter, it starts with M. And if you don't know the letters, the name, you could say, Dad, duh, 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 what letter is that? And they can play the game too. I just am so proud of all of my friends that we got through the alphabet this year because it was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. And I'm super proud of everybody. I'm so glad that you've been working so hard. All right, so now we gotta get back to work. I'm gonna go work on my finding bigger and smaller, all right? So let's crisscross our hearts. Ready? Close your eyes. I'm gonna wish all my friends out there, I'm gonna wish all my friends in three school and pre-K a wonderful week of celebrating that we did the alphabet. We did the alphabet. We wish you well. We wish you well. All throughout the day today, we wish you well. Bye, my friends. I was looking to show you A4 Apple. Bye. Mwah.